How do you keep killing me? Uh, because you're bad at the game. Nah, that can't be it. Seriously! Well, I know what it is. My weapons are garbage. You're using the AR-33. And that's why I'm going to make this list of the top 10 worst weapons in Goldeneye. Thank you very much. We've all been there. We get together with some friends, have some snacks, have some drinks, and then hash it out with some Goldeneye. But a lot of us have issues winning at Goldeneye, and it's because we get stuck with the following weapons. I have to admit that the Klob is on this list purely for necessity. Objectively, it's a decent gun, especially in the single player missions. But when it comes to multiplayer, it bites the big one. Sure, it'll work in a pinch, but it's often overpowered by the other guns available. It's an automatic and it can be dual wielded, which makes it decent. But overall, I find its merits are way outdone by its drawbacks. It uses the same ammo as the PP7 and it makes an even wimpier sound. If you have a club, you are more than likely going to be outgunned. Plus, I hate hearing people whine about it when they die because they can only find a club. That's me. I hate the sound of my own voice when that happens. Another technically bad gun that I felt necessary for this list, and I already know people are going to disagree with me here. I'm not a fan of the golden gun. It's a lighter and a gun, which makes it look blocky and dumb. And yes, yes, I know it looks just like the gun in the movie. Wait, a lighter that transforms into a gun? Where have I heard that before? Transformers. Well, it still looks dumb. And it fires one bullet before reloading. One, one bullet. Sure, the gun kills in one hit, but you're spending so much time reloading that you end up getting mowed down before you can even land a hit a lot of times. Not to mention, most times there's only one spawning place for this in the multiplayer maps, which means people start guarding it like a hawk with the hope of getting the gun and the magic bullet in order to win. And then I die, which makes me sad. Do you remember ever using the silver PP7? No? Well, there is a reason for that. It's a gun that's only accessible through using cheats. And why would you use the silver PP7 when you have a perfectly good gold PP7? Gold is better than silver, right? I think I learned that from watching the Olympics or something. And if you disagree, then you must be the jerk that made the coins in Eminem's adventure. So what does the silver PP7 do differently that even makes it cheat worthy? It shoots through doors and bulletproof glass like the Cougar Magnum, but this gun shoots faster. It's still overshadowed by the gold PP7 that kills everything in one hit and destroys stuff too. Shooting through stuff isn't super impressive compared to that. So sorry Silver PP7, you deserve being on this list just because you are not as good as your gold counterpart. I mean, I'm not sorry. I never used you before now, so fuck off. You know what's a bad weapon? How about no weapons? Yes, the option of not using any weapon is an option to kill things, people things. However, doing it though is a bit of a nightmare. You end up running around like an idiot, waving your hands with the hope of landing a hit. And when you do, the guy just stands there and takes it. I mean, that is funny, but you feel like an asshole doing it. And multiplayer? Forget about it. Obviously you start with no weapons, so that is always a possibility that you have to defend yourself, but more than likely, you are going to be made into a fine Swiss cheese before that happens. And it's so unfair that my friends and I always instituted an unarmed off-limits rule just to keep it from getting too unfair. And not to mention there's an option for slappers only. And that's just everyone bouncing around, slapping each other with these outdated controls and slippery movements. It's, it's funny, but not fun. Oh, and it's still amazing that I picked six weapons worse than having no weapon. Wait, how the hell is the grenade launcher worse than no weapons at all? 
It's a rare gun that makes explosions for crying out loud. Well, for starters, it is incredibly rare. You can only find it on Surface 1, Streets, and Jungle. And not to mention, it always has very limited ammo, so you literally only get to use it a few times throughout your entire playthrough. And then the grenades like to bounce a bit, which means that if you aren't careful, you'll end up exploding yourself. And that's not fun. The launcher itself also looks weird. I mean, I get it's modeled off the one in Predator, but translating that to a first-person shooter, it looks like a tube with unlabeled cans of soup attached to it. It's kinda telling that the only times I use this gun can be counted on one hand. I use it to blow off the locks at the end of the service level, I don't even bother in streets, and I use it to blow up the ammo dump and turret at the end of jungle. With cheats though, you could do whatever with this, so whatever. Go crazy. Wee! Look at this. It was, and I exploded and died. Oh no. Is it any surprise that I ranked the hand grenade worse than the grenade launcher? There is the same limitations with regular grenades as with the launcher, except in order to use them, you do this pitiful throw to take out enemies. Eh. One of the perks of the hand grenade is that there's a small chance to get them in nearly all the levels. A dude will stop, pull one out, and if you kill him at this point, he drops it, and you can pick it up. Then you can use it. Nice. However, if your timing is off killing the dude, then the grenade will go off and you will die. Remember when I said that proximity mines were one of the best? Well, time mines are proximity mines bastard cousins. You place a mine somewhere and then hope against hope that the fucker will run out of time when an enemy walks by. And it's truly laughable for what the game decided to set the time for on these stupid things. You can't set the timers on these. I thought you could, but that goes to show that I really never use time mines. You simply throw them against the wall and they go off like five seconds later. Just five seconds. You can't even enjoy the thrill of setting a trap for your friends. These are just sticky grenades. I read that originally the time was a minute, which would make them similar to proximity mines, but instead, eh, pause, explode. It's stupid and dumb. Boom. What have we learned so far today? Well, I hate throwing things. Don't ask me to throw things. Eh. It's part of the reason I didn't play team sports as a kid. Well, that and accidentally scoring on my own goal and then being ridiculed mercilessly because I had the endurance of a run over loaf of bread. But anyway, throwing knives are bad. I never got used to using them. You really only see them when you leave the cell on Bunker 2 and you gotta use the watch magnet to get them in the first place. Then, you throw them at people. And it almost seems random if it kills them or not. Granted, with enough practice you could become pretty good with them, but the opportunity to use them is extremely limited. Then you got to go pick them up off the ground, or out of the walls, wherever you threw them. And just forget it if there is more than one enemy around. You'll maybe kill one dude, and the other will start freaking out and shooting at you, and that calls more dudes, which then means stealth is no longer an option, so you pick up the KF-7 Soviet and start mowing down guys, but they just keep on coming and coming, and when you finally get a break, you gotta run and gun through the whole rest of the mission, and the knives just clutter your inventory at that point and they become useless. I... I think I have some unresolved trauma there. Oh well. Does the watch laser even count as a weapon? I'll argue, yes. It cycles through like a normal weapon instead of going through the tedious menu for other stuff. It shoots, and it can kill, I think. And yes, it's again very limited because its only use is on the train. You gotta use it to blast away these little gray patches on the floor in order to escape before the train explodes, which is necessary and accurate to the movie, I guess. But if you didn't know that going in, then you might be going, Wee! die and then run out of laser and then you're stuck and you die it's also a terrible weapon to try to kill anything and i pity anyone who tries so that's a number two a really big stupid weapon in my opinion i bet a lot of you wouldn't have guessed the sniper rifle to be my number one pick for worst weapon in goldeneye obvious choices are fine but this is more fun in my opinion Deal with it. The sniper rifle appears in a couple levels, dam and surface one. So right off the bat, it's a limited weapon. 
and I just love saying limited weapons in this video, so I'll shut up about it. At least these levels are built for sniper rifle use. Surface has big open spaces and Dam has a few long sections that are perfect for the sniper rifle. But the rest of the time, it's just bleh. I cast part of the blame on the lack of longevity that these control sticks have. The sniper rifle has no auto aim unlike most other weapons, so shooting from the hip is a no-go. Plus, with the aging controls, just trying to get a good shot is hard. Then you have the butt, I mean buttstock, of the rifle. That means instead of slapping people with your slappy hands, you get to slowly, slowly try to hit people with the butt of the rifle. And in all honesty, I don't think I've ever used the butt of the rifle because I've always had ammo for other guns. So the main part, the actual weapon, is nearly useless and hard to use, and the butt falls flat. And there you have my top 10 worst weapons in GoldenEye 64. Hopefully, with this information, we, who suck at the game, can finally get the upper hand. <sighs> okay. What have you been doing? I've been playing Goldeneye. What have you been doing? Wait, how did your kill count like a kajillion? You left. What was I supposed to do? Pause the game? Yes. Well, I didn't, and now you're dead. Again. How about we play a different game? Oh, you want me to beat the pants off of you on another game? Okay. But that's a single player game. Exactly. Hey all, thanks for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. And if you like this one, check out my other video on the top 10 best weapons in GoldenEye. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be amazing. I'd also like to give a shout out of thanks to my sibling for helping me out on this one. And thanks to you all. Bye bye.